All right, we've got the Xbox 360. It's got everything transferred onto it. I have a, a USB external with a bunch of games on it, plugged into the USB port on the back. I've got the uh, attachable hard drive on the side. It contains some uh, Xbox Live Arcade games. So we can just test everything and you can see how it works. So in game, game library, now we've got Geometry Wars. It shows up in here. We'll just pick that and hit play on it. So that'll load up. Alright, great. Um, I can... Yeah, Alright, I'm going to go to um, dashboard again. And I will load up... Um, let's see, I'm going to load up XCX menu and uh, run a game. Just, just the hard way, just to show you how it can be done manually with the file browser. So actually, XCX menu automatically targeted all of my games in here. So I'm going to go to the file browser. I've just got one folder in their games. Go all the way down. Now they follow three. That's what we were talking about earlier. And just pick uh, default.xcx. And the game should launch. And it does. All right, good. Um, I can now show you the, the quick launch menu, which is that quick boot shortcut that we put in. Uh, you got to go to the right so it does all of them. Uh, freestyle dash. Yep. And this should take us to our brand new interface. Alright, so it's asking me where to save dashboard data. Most of the games are on the USB hard drive. Okay, so I'll pick that. And it's going to run its indexer. You can see it's checking every single thing on there. It's adding this to a file called content.xml. This is the default skin. So this is freestyle dash. It's looking great. Um, down the bottom you've got all sorts of buttons. So I'll do utilities and I'll, I'll put on a new skin just because I think it uh, I think it looks a whole lot better. Again you, you uh, move around with the left and right bumpers. All right, and go to reload skin. There we go. Whole new interface. Looks really good. Um, if I just click this, and it'll load up a whole list of games, but they won't really have anything on them. You'll see it says no screenshots available, and it's just a blank game case. Well, we're going to go run FSD Indexer, and then you'll see how it turned out differently. Nonetheless, even with that, it will run the game if you just click A on one of these. So I'll just, and I'll just load Grand Theft Auto 4 or something. Okay, good. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go back to freestyle dash. And I hope it's got my emulator in here. Um, let's see which one is it? Emulators on the right. It should have automatically detected SNES 360, and it has. Good. Alright, so as far as my games, I just put two on there, so we'll do Super Mario World to start up. Alright, good. Um, so it looks like everything works. Awesome. I'm going to go run the content indexer, and I'll do another video of that, and I'll come back, and you can see how nice everything looks, and we'll be done. Alright. We're now going to run FSD Indexer in order to scan our Xbox 360 for content and in the process make FSD, our Freestyle Dash, look nicer and just function better. Um, right now the 360 is on in the other room. It's running Freestyle Dash, which hosts an FTP server. I'm going to load up FSD Indexer right here. It'll ask me for my IP, which is right here, standard username and password. All the data is stored on the USB, and that's why I also installed Freestyle Dash. I'm operating through FTP. Just hit OK. It should connect. These are all the games that I have on here. And Xbox Live Arcade games is only one. It sees the emulator I have, all that stuff. So you um, you click Get Data for All Games. This is going to take a while. It might take anywhere from two minutes to twenty minutes, depending on how much stuff you have. So click da Get Data for All Games. And when you're finished and it's downloaded everything, you have to hit this button, Save Content XML. Once you do so, it'll ask you to reboot your Xbox. Click no, actually, because it, it doesn't work, like it'll crash your box. So just click no on that. Uh, you can close this, go restart Freestyle Dash, and everything will look nice. I also remember that I forgot to show you the step 
of um, running the flash installer to inject launch.xex um, so that it will auto boot freestyle dash but we'll do that next so for now I'll just click get data for all games scan incomplete games only I'm just gonna choose um, yeah I'll choose yes because basically everything's on there okay um, I'm gonna cut this out all right we're gonna go to freestyle dash we've just updated everything with FSD indexer to load up and it's going to update from the, the um, content.xml. When I go in here, um, things should look a whole lot nicer. I mean, this is just one theme. You'll see it has box art. There's actually a background, but it doesn't really work too well with this theme. But the point is, things look nicer. There's a description. Um, that's, that's for, and it, it goes for all of your games, um, including Xbox Live Arcade, so Geometry Wars, which is the only one on here will have something. Um, Okay, um, now as far as getting, um, we were going to get, oops, game library, yep. Um, we're going to run launch, or the flash installer to inject launch.xex, so we'll auto boot um, freestyle dash upon turning on the system. So load up xex menu, I copied the folder to the root of the hard drive, should be uh, an hdd1, flash installer, great. Click default.xex. Should load up. Really, really simple. You just tap A once. And it's done. Okay. Let's get out of here. Go to the dashboard. And we should restart the system and it should work. So, I'm gonna power this thing off. Uh, just wait a couple seconds and then power it back on. Now this time, it should play the Xbox 360 intro video, and uh, then it should boot into um, Freestyle Dash immediately. My system actually rebooted twice, because it noticed the NAND got changed, but it's fine, it's working now. So immediately after this, we should just go straight into SSD. All right, sweet. Um, basically, your system's done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials, and I hope you have a whole lot of fun with your system.